Hello everyone, how are you doing? You're here in Claro Beauty and Life with your host Claudia Lara. Uh, very nice to be here sharing with you the sacred space of makeup. <laughs> um, so today I want to talk to you about uh, the brand Clé de Peau. Clé de Peau. And so as you know for a while now, I've been starting with a new foundation in every video. And I do that so you guys can see the difference between one and the other. And then at the end, I will tell you my thoughts of each of them. So today I am wearing one of my favorite for every day. And apparently I can also use it for a night out or dinner. Uh, but I really use this quite a bit, uh, not thinking about it because, and I say not thinking about it because usually I would do to retouch or to finish if I was wearing another foundation or if I was wearing one of those very easy kind of conceal and spot uh, foundations like the Westman Atelier or like the one I show you last, the Chanel palette. And so then I would just finish with this because it was very moist. Uh, well, it turns out that little by little like that, I started reaching for a lot more and now I think it's uh, amazing for just uh, every day or even a little put up because I'm wearing it today. It's not accentuating my lines. I don't feel it uh, strongly in my face. It did give me a very nice canvas. I feel it, uh, I feel my skin looking healthy, even though you know that my skin is very dry. So most of the foundations that I put on usually dry me out. So I love this foundation. Now it gives you a very light coverage. Uh, so when I want a little bit more, you know my favorite, which is the uh, Surat um, Dew Drop Foundation. And perhaps now it's gonna be hand on hand with Lisa Eldridge's new foundation, which I will order. By the way, uh, the date to order has been released. It will be on Saturday, November 6th. So I think it's four o'clock in, in England. So um, I don't know where you are, but you can figure that out. She's gonna release her new foundation. So I think that one is hand on hand what I will wear to go out in a very nice sort of thing. But this one for every day and comfortable and, and still to go out, not so made out, is perfect. So this is the Claire de Paul, and I'm already wearing it. So you open it up and it's like that. Uh, and this one is uh, Radiant Cream to Powder Foundation. I am wearing uh, O10, and um, I think it's called Ocre 10. Now it's very interesting because I have also used the, uh, what they call the Clé de Pot, the foundation, which comes in a little jar. It's very, very creamy. And I am color O10. However, for that particular foundation, I like to order I10, which is even lighter. Probably because I would only wear that foundation mostly in the winter, so I guess I'm the palace. But also because you, you really need a very tiny little bit just to cover probably the red or emphasize certain areas. Like I wouldn't put it on like a cream because it's very creamy, creamy, creamy. And I love cream and moisture, don't get me wrong, but I don't like like I am wearing, you know, a pile of moisture unless I'm putting m like a moisture to to um, to release or to feel, uh, you know, a night perhaps. So I love that foundation. It's very expensive. I think it's like 250. Uh, it does last you quite a bit. But again, you have to use very, very little, and I am a little lighter than that. Going back, so this is what I'm wearing today. I also put a little bit of Claire de Paul concealer. I love this thing. I, I use it for every day. It's a little more sticky, or it's not creamy. You know, you really have to kind of put it in. Still, I warm it up a little bit with my finger, or I will smear, and then tap, tap, tap with my finger until I warm it up and allow the skin to take it in. I find it that it doesn't totally cover, uh, but none of my concealers really do <laughs> at this point, especially because I prefer it that way. So it doesn't, you know, so my skin still looks healthy and not wrinkle up and things like that. 
So this is the concealer. That's what it's called. It has SPF 25 sunscreen. I am the color ivory. See, it comes like this. So I would put a little bit. I could put a little bit here still for my red. I already put it under the foundation, but <laughs> the foundation is so light. I'll show you that, I mean, it just puts, brings everything together. Um, so there you have it. So this one, again, when you first apply it, it feels a little bit like it's stuck in your skin, but then you warm it up a little bit with your finger and then it kind of gets absorbed. And so uh, it's very, very nice. They also have another one that is kind of brightening. Um, it's very similar to, isn't there one for YSL? I think I have that one, which is kind of illuminating more than concealing. So it brings, uh, it brights up your eyes. That look is also very nice. It doesn't really cover uh, dark eyes. I don't have much of dark eyes, but I don't know. For me, it's too much illuminating. I like just to, to blend in and, and, and that's about it because I do use all the other highlights, etc. So anyhow, this is, I do recommend it. I do use it for every day. Uh, and then I, I wore this one and as you are well aware, you can get a sponge or you can get your fingers, but you know, you heard me talk about this IT cosmetic and I just kind of, but see what I mean. And now I'm piling a little bit more because I already put it on. Put it on but what i wanted to show you it's okay i kind of do this even when i have another foundation on and if it's uh, becoming a little tired or if it's becoming a little dull or i put already the makeup but i put too much or too dark and i just want to brighten up or melt you know kind of blend uh, what I did with the with the blush or whatever, I always pull this one out, almost like if it was just a powder. Remember before you used to powder yourself? And, and so I use this instead. And it's not powder per se, but it dries to powder, something like that. So it doesn't feel like powder, but uh, it feels a little moist and yet it really blends in. So I really love this uh, foundation. Um, so, Next thing I'm going to talk about, of course, these are, these were um, a holiday edition. So I don't know if you have it. I don't think you can get it anymore. These were beautiful. Look at this case. And the reason I'm, I'm doing this ones is because they probably will come up with their holiday edition. And I just want you to know that even though these colors, because look at the colors, they look so, so light and they apply very, very kind of transparent light. But I wanted to show you that they still can work and you can still get a great look. Uh, I also ordered, this was another, I think it was another of their holidays. That's why I'm saying that, you know, give you a good idea. I ordered this one um, and this one came with the blush and with the four uh, eye shadows. I'm not gonna wear this. This is uh, something I haven't really worn because they're, again, I think I you heard me mention, they're very brown for me, too brown. And I like things to brighten me up instead of making me, um, you know, in that brown arena. However, it's a very nice palette. I might try it one of these days with you all and see. Uh, but I pulled it out today because I don't have a blush from this brand. I hear that uh, their cream blushes are amazing and I do want to get one. It's just I have a lot of cream blushes at this moment, but uh, but I do want to get one of theirs. However, I pulled this out because I felt I can use that blush, even though it's not in the pinkies or cooler side. So we'll see, we'll see. If not, I'll pull something else, but I wanted to show you that. So let's start with the eye shadows. It's gonna be a very simple one. I don't want to spend a lot of the time, but um, I did wanted to showcase this brand, this foundation. And so I guess the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take the Lilac. As you know, it's one of my favorite colors. And even though it will come very lightly, I mean, one of you comment the other day on the palette, the Beautylish, Surat Beautylish palette, that they were too light of a colors, and they were. I agree. This ones, 
they're very light and transparent, but you can see them. And the interesting part about it, I mean, the fun part about these eyeshadows is that they're so subtle. Uh, yet every time I wear this ones, my husband will say, I like your makeup. Now, it, it will barely show. So it's not like I will be wearing a lot of makeup, but uh, apparently it does something, right? So now I took a little bit of the white and I'm just gonna put it on the inner part and I'm bringing it to the middle. Now these are powdery. I just got some in my eyes, so I should have shake, shake, shake. That's my fault. But um, there you go. So I just brought up the inside and then now this is the interesting part. So you have these three colors that just apply like that. Very transparent, very light. You barely know that you have something there. But then this one really will show up. So you have to be careful because if you think, oh, well, that one is going to apply like this one's very disappearing like, <laughs> and then it doesn't. So let me see. I'll take this. Uh, this is the, oh, this is Sigma Pencil. I don't know why I grabbed this, but Sigma Pencil. I'm going to take the darkest kind of purplish, burgundy. I don't know. I guess this is the purple purple. I'm very surprised at some eyeshadows that are called purple. They always like the purple colors in the eyeshadows. And they look to me like a very bright pink. You guys have that happen to you? I mean, not like pink, like baby pink or like, but it's more like fuchsia pink and it's not really purple. But you see this color, this color has pigmentation. This color, obviously I'm using it almost, or I am using it as an eyeliner. You see that? And you know, I usually have used it just to do the B, but here with you guys, this is what happened. So I have to go with what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do that no i don't think okay so let me just i think this brush i'm telling you the difference that it makes when you apply makeup with different brushes is amazing to me and of course i'm just learning all these things with you um or every time i apply makeup right now i don't know where am i all oh my it's interesting so this is a sonia g this is uh, is called flat definer. Let's see if I just apply. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I mean compared to the other ones, compared to those, this one really was meant to apply some color. So obviously, I'm using the wrong. Um, the wrong brushes. There you go. So now I'm blending, blending. I'm blending this one too, upward. So I guess you can see when you do something that you were not meant to do, and then how you can start fixing it. <laughs> blending, blending, blending. Did I save the day or not yet? Okay. I mean, because the reality is what I just want is to bring a little purple there, right? So now I'm gonna take the actual lilac color, this one, and, and fill all that up and blend to that strong color I just placed. And it's okay because that's what I wanted, that the outer corner becomes darker than the rest of it, which is happening. You see that? That's all I wanted. Now, I'm gonna put more of the lilac because I wanna fill it up. And what I'm gonna do now, now we'll use this flat definer, this one that we saw pile, and I'm gonna put some of that blue. Now, that blue will look scary, but remember, those first three shades are like, so soft and transparent. 
it's almost like they bring the shade to your look but you can't really see them i mean you don't see blue right and that is really the magic from a luxurious brand to the to the ones in the that they sell and you know that are less luxurious and it's funny when i hear makeup artists are like you can make any look with grocery store kind of make and i'm like yes you can if you're a makeup artist <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess when you're talking about luxurious, uh, you're talking for us, the, you know, the run of the milk that needs help uh, blending. And, and so this kind of eyeshadows make it so easy um, for us to do it. I mean, easy In quotation marks because look at me i'm a little here working it right i mean you give this to my mom who really can care less about makeup and and really does not get any kind of technique she does it her way and that's the end of it which happens good looks good but uh i'm sure i don't know what she would do with these eyeshadows <laughs> all right so that's all i would do i mean i don't know I'm gonna add a little bit of the blue. I'm grabbing the blue and I'm just putting it a little bit here on the bottom. The reason I'm doing that is, um, I just wanted to bright it up. I wanted to bring a little more cohesive. And remember in the other videos when I said, sometimes when you apply one on top of the other on top of the other, it just brings some kind of complexity, but it starts looking good. And so there's not really a rhyme or reason. I'm not precise. I know some of the YouTubers are so precise in their application and where they put the colors and it just looks amazing. That's not me. Uh, I just know that I do need the outer a little darker than the rest because I want this to be lifted. But other than that, and I'm almost tempted to go to the darkest, the, the one that we, start struggling with just a tiny bit so just a tiny bit i just want a little more dark color there all right there you go there you go have you heard um some people that know what they're doing and they always say that if you're a beginner you can uh, start with just one brush and that that would be the easiest way to apply. Well, that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm like, just keep with this one and keep blending and applying lightly and you'll get to it. Well, I like what has happened so far. Now, the interesting part, if, if I replicate it on the other side, <laughs> which I will try to do. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you. So I have two because these are lila kind of purplish. I have two. Obviously, you've heard me talk about the Chantecaille Violet Damask, which I keep bringing it up for some reason. I guess I haven't done a lot of browns and blacks and things like that. But I'll swipe it here. So this is the uh, Violet Damask. Now, I know it doesn't look that violet. It's just kind of a violet, very dark violet tint uh, to it. I mean, you really, because if you see it just like that, it kind of looks black grayish, but it has a tint going lilac. And that's what I'm looking for. Everything just to have a tint, you know, of it. Uh, you don't want to go like a purple. I mean, that would be a different look. And I also have here Marc Jacobs. Um, I don't know what color this is. Let me see if I can read it because the letters are so... Okay, is blacker berry. That's what it's called. Now, let me swipe it right here. Ooh, look at that. So this is the Marc Jacobs. Now you can see the lilac in here. Can you? I mean, look, now it looks lilac when this is kind of more berry. Uh, it reminds me of the midnight of Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipstick, right? Like very dark berry. So because, ooh, well, 
I don't know. How you guys think? Would it be too dark? What if I do just a wink little something there? I'm going to ruin it. I mean, I was going to go with the Violet Damask from Chantekai. Something very, very simple. But now I'm tempted. So remember, if you saw one of my videos, one of the tricks, I go here. Not all the way to the, where the, the end touches. No, a little bit before. And I flick up. Almost if I was adding an extra eyelash. See, you can see it here. But I do that because I want that direction <laughs> upwards. And then I start bringing it down in. Little by little to let me know how thick of a line. Because I don't want a very thick line. I want to barely be there. So I follow this little flink and then I try to, from the end of it, I try to bring it in little by little. You see that? Oh yeah, that looks nice. So I'm glad I picked this, uh, I think berry. So it's not actually purple. So what did I tell you, Skull? Blacker berry. But you know, it has the lines there that are purple. So I'm confused. I know I bought it because of the purple. So not because of the berry. Oh yeah, that looks so nice. Now I'm tempted to do this thing over here to make a full line. Yeah, let's do that. I have showed you that trick before when you go inside the eye and you go all the way to your to the where the tear thing is and you start there and you go up this is something that natasha the nona shows a lot and i really like it and you know she always has that look where her eyes eye line from here all the way up and then she gives a little bit wing I think it's a great uh, thing to elongate the eye. And even for me, I don't have almond eye. If you notice, I have very white here in the middle. So it's not like it, it will look like that, very beautiful. But still, this kind of trick makes my eye look whiter. And I think, in my mind, it helps with this droopiness to be less noticeable because you're looking at this longer. Is it just me? All right, so. Always I make kind of dots or a little bit here in the outer third of my eye just to bring a little bit of the cohesiveness. I mean, the whole trick is to bring a little bit of accentuation there and then a little bit of white out in the inner. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of, of the white in the center. And over here in the center and outside and up here. All right. What do you guys think? It's nice, right? So uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do my other eye and put some mascara and I'll be right back. Hello. So I'm back. Um, so I finalized my other eye. I did add some eyebrows um, and mascara. So I think it's gorgeous. And I don't know, as the eyeshadow starts settling down into my eyes, I love it more and more. It just gives this hint. So let's finalize with a little bit of blush. Now, this is a little peachy. I, I wish I had a little more pinkish. Let me see if I can find one here. Oh. Maybe I can use a little bit of, yeah. 
So I have here Hourglass, and this Hourglass was last year holidays, and it has four. I'll just put a bit, a little bit of that in, um, in my cheek. I'm going to use, because they are four and they're kind of small, <laughs> crunch in there, <laughs> I'm going to pull out my Designer Pro Sonia G, and it fits perfect. You see that? Yeah. So let's put a, bit, a little bit of blush. Because I just wanted a little hint of pinkishness. You see that? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's a lot more pink or darker than, obviously, the lilac. Look how beautiful they look. Wow. I, I think what they come out this year, they look not so pastels. They look a little more bright. But I cannot... I might order it because even though they look very bright uh, on the pictures that I have seen so far, I bet you they're going to have this sort of quality where they become a little transparent and sparkly. It's very different than everything else I see out there. Uh, very different. So that's why I wanted to do this video. I want to hear what you think if you have tried Claire the Poe eyeshadows. You don't hear for them much. And of course, they say it's not that pigmented, this and that. But I get compliments every time I do this, and I really, really love them. I think another day I will do this other palette for you that has the browns, and it doesn't look so translucent or transparent, the eyeshadows. Probably how their permanent line eyeshadows sort of work, and we can do that. I haven't really used those. I had used this ones before, so I know I like them already. And so... The other thing I wanted to show you is the uh, Claire de Paul. This is the Luminizing, Luminizing Face Enhancer. Look how beautiful the package came. Obviously, this worked just for the, they're not permanent, the packaging, but you probably can get this highlighter still. There's obviously other colors that are permanent in their line. This one is very pastel-y because it was with the whole line, you know, it was this kind of winter sort of theme. Uh, this is very nice, and I have a feeling, I don't know if you heard of the Chantecai new holiday release where they come with one eye shadow, it comes with like in a pearl case, one eye shadow, one highlighter, and a blush, which I think is amazing, and I think is very different than most of the lines for winter because it is in that pinky sort of uh, mood. Uh, I believe their luminizer is going to be similar to this. If you have them both and, and you've seen the difference, let me know. But I think they're very similar. This kind of highlighter is one of those that you put it on and you barely can tell it's there. I mean, and even if you swatch them, um, and it, you know, it's almost like a lot of people don't like that and they're like, what for? Why put it on? To me, um, I like those kind of things that are not noticeable, but they do something. And when the light hits, they do something to your face, and but yet it doesn't look like you're wearing anything. So let's try. These are a little pastels even for me. So you'll see what I, what I mean. So I'm gonna take a little bit here. Look at that. So it's picking up, right? So I'm gonna blow it up a little bit, so dust it. I don't think you'll be able to see much here. Even I can barely see, I mean. Let's see. Well, you know what I'm noticing is doing is blending, is making things smoother. It does bring that kind of whiteness so it makes it lighter. So in essence, it does bring that light, right? I mean, do you see that? See here, it's a full blush and the blush goes all the way here. Here, this kind of whiteness already covered there so it made that part lighter and brighter. Let's do it on the other side. Look at that. So you see that and then you see, it kind of, it's not like it looks like a highlight, but it does bring that a little wider not white, but you know what I mean, like a softer, softer, lighter. Oh, I really like it. Now, let's see, like, 
I have a little bit of texture here. Let me see what happened. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we don't want that. <laughs> I'll cover it up. So let's stay with this. <laughs> no, 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 I don't like that. But around my eyes, yes. So just to cover the other, yeah. We don't want that brightness there and any that. But see, this kind of foundation, the cream to powder, that, what did I say? You can always cover, blend, bring um, on top of foundation, on top of your makeup, and it's wonderful. So it brings it back to, <laughs> to the right color instead of that. So I wouldn't put highlight anywhere else that where it goes. I thought perhaps it could be used kind of like a smoothing powder, but no, it is, it, it is, highlighting and it's making all of this area so nice and bright i guess i can um i'm starting to feel you know magnifique you know <laughs> that it has all this white and light but i guess it's a theme you see her she's very very white right here around it and then just brings the color to contour so there you have it now last but not least i do have here um, Claire de Paul uh, lipstick. Oh boy, what did I do with it? I start all very organized and then everything starts piling up as I leave it and then I can't find things. But I have this, it's very beautiful. I think it came with that collection. And the color is Glorifier. Claire de Paul Glorifier. See, it has a little bit of lilac. It does have color. But it is some type of lilac, sort of. Yeah, but it's soft, beautiful. So let's put it on. You see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. Mmm, so beautiful looks very not natural it is for going out i think i mean you can use it for a day of course because it's, it's soft and nice and 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 but but you can also take it for a night out you really can because it's nice that's why i put this nice necklace and pearls you know and you can really dress it up and it's very subtle yet it has some of the sparkles you look natural but made up i don't know you tell me i love it now let's take it up a notch why don't we there is this beautiful color from lisa eldridge velvet carnival now velvet carnival we're talking big time take it up a notch should we try it I think it's gorgeous. It will be a bold, nice lipstick. But since the eyes are settled enough, I wonder how it will look. So you like that idea? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Mm. Now, bold pink carnival lipstick. I think it looks gorgeous and different. Now, this is where I meant, I, I mentioned this on the Sephora sale recommendations. This, I said it was a product that I use it for everything. So to me, it's a must. And it is, I'm trying to clean it up because it looks a little <laughs> dirty. So this is uh, the Dior um, Healthy Glow Awakening Blush. Now it looks very pink but it's really once you put it on it's very translucent you'll check it out so every time i'm wearing any type of like this bold lips that i need something pink that comes across but i don't want actually pink because i want to keep the lips to be the bold part of the whole face and i just want things to, to of course you can do the trick right but it's still i think it will be too much so i just want to add a little pink so i just take a little bit of this and I just added a little bit. There you go. You see? And remember, always up. Always up. And on top, 
And all I want is to bring a little bit of that pink into my face. So it brings that cohesiveness and I bring it up a little bit. There you go. So I look a little more pink throughout, but it's not really a pink that is showing. Anyhow, this is how I like it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Is it too much? Is it too pinky? Do you like something more neutral for night or for going out? Um, thank you for watching. This is the time that I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And please ring the bell in the upper right hand corner to let you know when I upload uh, videos. And please comment below anything you like, requests, comments, suggestions. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.